All right, so now I'm at uh, root 9. It's a really, really small root. And in fact, let me throw on a repel really quick so I can explore this grassy area first. There we get an elixir. And then this is kind of a semi-hidden looking area right there. And here we get our first trainer. He is a roughneck. If I win, give me your Pokemon. He would fit perfectly in Team Rocket, I think. Roughneck Reese. He's sporting a super cool jacket to match his Pokemon. All right, so I'm trying to raise up my uh, my Arcanine right now, or Arcanine, as I like to say, because it has the move Outrage, which will come in handy against uh, Drayden and his Dragon type Pokemon. So hopefully I'll be able to go into that gym battle at like level 56, 57, something like that. Hopefully. Or at least go into the gym that way. So we get a dark gem. And over here, this is where the Challenger's Cave used to be in the original black and white. But unfortunately, it's been uh, closed off. So... That's all there is over here in this uh, forest area, although there is a hidden grotto somewhere, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll just skip it. Join our team. Actually, I will force you to join our team. Roughneck Chance. That's a name I don't like. And the thing about my uh, Arcanine is the fact that it is pretty much like a Kamikaze. Because right now the only fire move I have is Flare, Bri eh, tongue -tied. flare Blitz. Which of course uh, gives off recoil damage. So I put on the Shell Bell to kind of counteract the recoil, but it doesn't uh, completely counteract it. So anyway, little tidbit, if you hold B, anybody that moves in the game moves faster, or at least anybody who's like riding a bike or anything. So this dude says, do you want to pass through here? Then you must grieve me. All right, hello, goodbye, let me leave now. Although, if you really want me to destroy your Pokemon, I guess I can do that, too. And I'll just use Flare Blitz, which is uh, complete overkill, because it has, like, 120 base attack or something like that, so... And it's super effective. And Arcanine has, like, really awesome attack. So that was pretty damn easy. And let's continue off to the east. And by east, I mean west. There we go. And now we can battle this dude. <laughs> Nobody can beat my speed and fury. We got a skull rupee. There we go. I have lost. I'm such a loser. Duh, bro. Alright, here we have a double battle if we want it to be. Bam. 
Hey, hey, what do we have here, boys? You have good Pokemon, let me see. Hey, hey, a bad one teamed up with another bad one. Do you know what it means? That means we are very bad. <laughs> hey, guys, if you add bad and bad, it means very bad. Hooligans, Jim and Cass. Which is actually also a uh, Pokemon card, which I think is in Dark Explorers. Alright, so I will use Flare Blitz on Drapion. And... I'll use Signal. Actually, yeah, you know what? Signal Beam probably won't really do much. Although Power Gem won't do too much either, but whatever. So that should hopefully knock him out. Although it didn't. Close, though. So I probably should have uh, attacked... Trapion with my Ampharos as well. And whoever uh, the crocodile attacks is pretty much going to be screwed. Especially if it's Arcanine. Yeah. That's not good. Ouch. And yeah, that did not do very much. Although, fortunately, I have my Superior, which is actually a much more comparable level to the Crooked Island. So, I'll use Leaf Blade, and I'll use Signal Beam. Let's see how much damage that does. Oh, we don't even get to see. What a shame. Ah, oh, I get it. That's what you call friendship, huh? Now I can pick up this item, which is an HP up. And now that I have a spare moment, I'll go ahead and revive my poor little Arcanine. Which is like the Pokemon version of a Hawthorne Heights fan cutting his wrists. Except instead of cutting his wrists, he takes recoil damage. Ooh, and there's an item that I guess I missed. Let's go pick that up, considering that's pretty much the last thing in this area. And it's a nugget. The only good nuggets are gold nuggets. The brown ones aren't as fun. So that's pretty much it for the actual route, and the next area is Shopping Mall 9, which is like a three-story mall, more or less. I was challenged to a Pokemon battle inside the Shopping Mall. That means it's a place where only the strong survive. Got it? On the first floor, they sell medicines. On the second floor, they sell TMs and different kinds of mail. On the third floor, they sell items for raising stats and, battling, and battle items. I really admire Mr. Clyde, the Pokemon Gym Guide, so I'm practicing being a guide, too. That would be pretty cool if he was the guide in, like, Generation 6. Anyway, I'm a lady. I've come to do some shopping, but, I've, but I'm have but i having ever so much trouble finding out what is sold here. Would you be so kind as to buy a Hyper Potion for me? I'll give you the money for it. Okay. Why, thank you. Here's the money. Just a Hyper Potion, please. Thank you ever so much for your help. All right, that's kind of weird. Welcome. Would you like a cold drink with your Pokemon battle? Oh, snap. I see what you did there. Well, you know what? You're about to get served, waitress. And actually, I bet she would prefer to be called server.
throwing out that flare, boys. Because it pretty much knocks out everyone in one hit. That was a wonderful vessel, bravo. Hello, welcome. How may I help you? Hyper Potion. Bam! Sure. Although I probably had like 12 of them or something like that before, but whatever. I want a Hyper Potion. Did you already buy one for me? It's a Hyper Potion. Thank you for buying it so quickly. There isn't much, but please take it. And we get an energy root. Shopping is so much fun. I'm thrilled with all I've accomplished. And energy root. Let's see what's up with that. Although I think it's just uh, kind of like a poor man's potion. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's it's a hyper potion. Except not. I can't wait for evening. That's right. Evening itself is a fever. All right. This mountain of cardboard boxes, they're all full of electrical appliances we can't sell anymore. They're just going to waste. I wonder if someone could put them to good use. Probably not. And we got a Poké doll. Alright, so now it's off to the second floor. If you want all the TMs, the shopping mall is a must-visit. That's right, you could brag about coming here to the TM Collector in Mr. Alden City. Hello, welcome to the Technical Machine Department. How may I help you? Oh snap, Hyperbeam, except I don't have enough money. And Giga Impact. I love Hyperbeam. It was like my favorite move in red and blue. Except when I got hit by, like, Lance's Pokemon with it. If I were to play hide-and-seek with my Pokemon, they'd find me right away. But if I were to get lost, I'd be glad they could find me right away. Hello. Welcome. How may I help you? Uh, I should probably... Eh, I don't really need to buy any Ultra Balls, but... Bam. So here we got some balls, and we got some males. And let's go up here. Hello. Welcome. May I help you? These are always useful, especially if you're into, uh, like, EV training. Hello. And these are pretty useful for gym battles, I think. The thing I buy most often is the item that raises a Pokemon's HP, called HP Up. There are also a lot of other items that catch my eye. My Lampin's not good at Pokemon battles, but it's great at making toast. The better trainer you are, the more you'll find yourself thinking, that's so, that's so you can help your Pokemon partners win. What? The better, the better trainer you are, the more you'll find yourself thinking. Oh, I thought he was saying, the more you'll find yourself thinking this. Anyway, that's so you can help your Pokemon partners win. I get it now. I am a waiter who is good at Pokemon battles. Uh, I think I'll be the judge of that, dude. And you only got one Pokemon, and it's a life hard? Come on. Come on. I bet this thing can't even take a single Flare Blitz. Although, granted, I'm almost, uh, like, ten levels ahead of it, but that doesn't matter. All right, and, uh, yeah, that's it for this area. I will make one last, uh, you know, lap, make sure I didn't miss anything, but, yeah, that's it. And so now, off to the west is a uh, two-blind bridge, I believe, except for the time being, we can't actually get over there. This chick says, some trainers take a Pokemon called Rotom 
into the storeroom of Shopping Mall 9. I wonder what they're doing. They're changing its form. When you've crossed all of the bridges in Unova, something really cool will appear. If I spread this rumor, a, I wonder if it'll become an ur urban legend. And this guy will, of course, stop us. Halt! The Tomb Light Bridge is currently undergoing a test to see how many people it can hold. That's right, I can't let any more people in right now. So this guy's kind of being a douche, which means one thing. We only have uh, Drayden to lean on in this time of boredom. So let's go all the way back to Opus City. And we are now going to go north and north and north and north. And now we're in front of the gym. And this is what we will be doing in the next video. We'll be uh, battling some dragon Pokemon and getting some some prizes after we uh, finish off Raiden. So I'll see you there.